I wonder how many, I always wonder how many people are falsely imprisoned. Probably not as high a number as you would believe, but there's still got to be some. Like quite right. a few, at least. I've been watching, um, I told you guys about it, 23 and 1, I think his channel is. He, uh, he went to prison for a while. And um, he was, they almost got him on something he didn't do. Like they tried to get him on kidnapping. But in reality, he just stabbed a guy. And apparently three people were coming over to jump him. He got an, it was in his own house, in his own yard. He got a knife. And uh, he went to kind of like pick the guy up and dump him. That I guess that's a super effective move on the streets and prison fights. He talked about that, but in reality, he didn't really lift him. But he had a, ha- a knife in his hand and he stabbed him twice in the back. And one of the times, it made like a suction sound, and I think he cool. killed that guy. I'm not positive about that. I don't yes. know. I don't want to go ruin his good name. But uh, the other two, I think after he killed the first guy, like were not interested in fighting. But there was a girl involved. He doesn't know why she was upset and. Um, bottom line, the girl told some lies and said he was also guilty for kidnapping, but he beat that charge and just went in on what I guess was murder or something like that. Yeah. And, um, good news is you didn't <clears throat> kidnap her. Yeah. Well, he was <laughs> truth. He was like, if they got me on that charge too, one I was innocent of, whew, I'd still be in there right now. And it's like, yeah, I, I guess so. You know, the, like that's why this poor Dennis, guy's in there forever. But man, his channel is compelling to me. I, I, I spend more time than I should for a guy who hasn't had a traffic ticket since like 19 thinking about how I'm going to survive in prison. One of the things they talk about that's critically important is not to talk shit about people, right? They, they, no one is your friend. No one is your friend. This guy who's your celly, you think you're bonded, whatever, that you two have a, a relationship that is tighter than the outside. Wrong. Wrong. No one is your friend in this whole thing. When you're in jail, which is like the waiting time before penitentiary, before prison, uh, there's other people in there trying to get their sentence lightened. You tell them like, yeah, I did X, Y, or Z. They'll snitch on you and say, hey, this guy confessed to me. I can be a, a witness in your thing saying that he told me this if you could knock some years off. Nobody is your friend. You're not bonding with anyone. Keep your mouth shut. And I'm just like, man, could I spend 15 years in prison with the same people and never talk shit about any of them? <laughs> no, you'd slip up at some point. You'd accidentally would make you an off-color guys? joke. No. I know I would. I'd I don't know if you've up. noticed, but Big Mike always hogging the basketball. What's that about? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that, who knows what would offend Big Mike? That could be a thing. Like Nazi Joe curling in the squat rack. You know, what a dick. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your head beat in with a bar. <laughs> yeah. I, I, my, uh, I don't want to rat her out. I, I can't even say it. My, my wife was talking shit about someone on her planet. And uh, I'm just like, baby, you'd never make it in prison. You'd be so fucked. And she's like, yeah, I would. You know? It, it's yeah. th- That would be one of the harder parts for me. It, it, like a, a big Gossip. part of it. Preventing I, I, yourself from gossiping with the with the boys so, would be the I, hard part. Of I don't, <laughs> I don't think of myself as like a huge gossip, someone who just constantly talks trash. But going 15 years with zero of it would be a challenge, I think. And uh, like his other stuff, um, he he tells a story. I wish I could retell it as well as he does. But he would walk past all the cells and look. He'd look left. He'd look right. It, you know, just. Wouldn't you? Like, aren't you curious? I can't walk past a hotel room with an open door without wondering, like, oh, that What's door's open. Yeah. yeah. I'm not peeking my head in or anything, but my eyes are trespassing. And, uh, you know, this big guy comes to him. He says he scared him. And 23 and 1 is a guy who would scare any of us, I think. And um, uh, and he, he was like, you know, I, I can't tell the story as well, but he's like, <clears throat> bitch, maybe not bitch, but like, you know, you cannot be looking in cells. I'm going to give you a pass because you're young and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, but you, you're you going to see shit in there that scares you. You're going to see shit in cells that you don't want to see. You're going to be a witness to something maybe you shouldn't be a witness to. And, you know, you don't want that on you. You look in you keep your eyes down, motherfucker, down. And I'm just like, man. Can I walk past cells for 15 <laughs> to 20 years and not look in them? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Are you not nosy? I'm a social guy. I'm a social I guy. This is <laughs> the tip of the iceberg stuff. That, that I, I don't think this is These are the, the things real- that get you in trouble. It appears. It appears that if you go in there 
and keep to yourself and stay out of trouble. And don't owe anyone anything. And, you know, maybe take some lumps or two, but put up a fight now and then. Then you can mostly stay out. Like, people won't, won't go after you. You won't be part of the game. You, you keep yourself out of the game. It's 90% of the challenge, based on YouTube videos, so I'm an expert. It's 90% of the challenge of surviving in prison without problems. But you start borrowing money, you get yourself in some debt. Borrowing you, money? Uh, or, that seems like a find terrible a, idea in prison. Yeah. Oh, but they'll try to sucker you. Like, Taylor, you want like a honey bun? Dude, it's cool. And here's another honey bun. Before long, you find yourself three honey buns in debt. We, I we, buy my own honey bun. Yeah, and, and the payoff is right now. Right now. Danish. Or, or we're turning you out. Which, if you don't know what turning you out is... You're going to start doing that thing with your shirt and wearing tight pants and sucking yeah. dick. Yeah, that's... Hold my pocket. <laughs> Hold my Turn pocket. Turn you out so they just beat the shit out of you and make you suck dick and shit. Yeah, I, I think if you're getting turned out, then you're doing that to avoid the beatings. But it might uh, take a beating or two to, to make you turn out, but that's the score. Like, you know, you're in a spot where physically you're fucked. Either this guy or this group of guys. It's not like you're beyond stand up to your bullies. Right, you're past that. <laughs> now you're just fucked, <laughs> you know, and uh, and yeah. But you know, to avoid that, apparently a big, big part of it is just keeping to yourself, keeping your nose clean, keep your nose down. You know, don't don't be social, don't go talking to people, don't be part of the game. That would be hard. That'd be yeah. hard. I'd be making friends, and then <laughs> I would learn they're not very good friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is my friend uh, N-word yeah. Mike <laughs> that's, that's okay Okay, just sure. uh, No, I don't want another honey bun God damn, my ass is still sore yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's really hard It's really hard I, I, And I'm trying to be honest Like, like I think I could be good for some period of time Three weeks You know Weeks. Three weeks. Weeks, I tell you. Maybe six. I gotta give myself the benefit of the doubt. But if you're what in there. What are you for, in here for? Loitering. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if you'd I'm in there for else 15 who, who, years. Nah, you'd find another, like, regular dude who, like, also crashed his silly flying machine <laughs> into a group of children and, and killed them. You know, someone else who was in there on, you know, they, they, ra- they, they wrecked their. Uh, their Jet-powered canoe into a bunch of children, you know, and, and yeah. you and them have that together. Just, You're like, ah, yeah. I, I flew into them. Ah! Vehicular you homicide so fist shit. bumps. Yeah. What'd yeah. you do? Flew your paramotor to a bunch of kids? All right, Galileo. That's who you are now, Galileo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, man. That was funny. So how would you do in prison, either of uh, you? Probably uh, just fall into deep... Depression. And I think Taylor in particular die. could build the body, right? Like it, I, I, you would respond well to weight training being your only activity, right? You, you're you're lifting yeah. now, yep. you're doing well, but you'd do better. You'd be a, you'd be a strong guy, uh, and you're not a short guy. I don't. People can't tell on camera, but you're like six one or two or something. Um, so you'd be, but even so, like six two, jacked Taylor. There's bigger dudes. Oh, for sure. Unless I, like, I don't think that's it, part of the deal, though. I don't think that you're trying to make yourself physically imposing enough that anybody will leave you alone. Uh, in fact, if anything, if you get too pumped up, they're gonna be like, "We need that guy. Let's let's get Big T over here. We want him on our team." Are you sure he doesn't look Latino? Uh, he'll do. He'll do. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tito, come on! <laughs> and, <I'm> like, <laughs> and I start wearing like a, a collared shirt with just that top button. <laughs> <laughs> and my, and my shirt's all empty. Otherwise, oh, I'd be a great solo, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're the yeah. You haven't been Hispanic the whole time, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I was using you to get out. My God, <laughs> thank Christ, I can go back to white culture. <laughs> Taylor, what would be your downfall uh, in prison? Oh, probably uh, being a loudmouth, talking shit, like not, that. not uh, like uh, being an intended, trying to be funny. And getting laughs from people and not realizing the person who's was at the, the butt of the joke is like, I'm going to I'm gonna cut your toes off tonight or like whatever they, they do. That, know, I, he I tells a story. About- I would just shut the fuck up. I, I, in my head, I say that 
I don't know if in reality I could shut up for that long. He tells a story of a guy who gets his ass kicked by like crazy horse or something like that. And, and um, it, they're just, he's like, don't joke around. Don't fucking joke around. Joking around gets you fucked up. And he's, and he, he knew, he remembered the insults. I don't, but they were just going back and forth. And towards the end of the joking session, one guy said something about the other guy's mom. And the other guy said something about his mom. And I thought the mom insults were on parody. They were, they were, they were, there's some parody. It's not like I said, your mom's a stinky poo poo head. And then the other guy comes back and says, your mom's a fucking whore who sucked my dick. Like, no, they were, they were roughly on par with each other. And the other guy was like, I'm going to. Some, it was code for how he was going to kick his ass. Like, you know, you better have your shoes on in the morning or something like that. <laughs> you better have your shoes yeah, on no, in the morning. That, that's part of the you thing. Better you better button your jammies up tight. <laughs> you, you need to wear oh, shoes shit. in the morning and you need to have your shirt off if you're prepared for a fight. Shoes on, shirt off. I don't know why. These things are very critical. You better rub yourself down with butter. Yeah, that's you a thing. Oil up. Oil up, yeah. shoes on, shirt off. Those are part I of guess. the thing. I get slippery before I bang. So the guy <laughs> didn't take him seriously, you know? And maybe that was part of the deal. Maybe maybe his idea of avoiding the fight was not preparing for a fight, you know? Like, it, But it didn't work out for him, and he got dumped. And uh, I can't... Getting dumped, you know, like you, you double-leg a guy and then you slam him on the ground? Uh, yeah. He was talking about how prison fights are really won. And he's like, grappling is a big part of it. And he's like, if you ever, if you have a guy who knows any martial arts, like like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, or maybe they were high school wrestlers, those guys are super effective. And he's like, it, it, he's describing prison concrete. He's like, something about prison concrete is like harder than every other concrete. It's just hard. And uh, and it made sense to me because ice is hard. Like if you ever play ice hockey, like something yeah. ice feels harder than concrete somehow. Like yeah. back me up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it, super hard. Crack your head, split it wide open without a helmet falling there. Not even being slammed by an <laughs> enormous man with tattoos all over. Yeah, so uh, he's like one of the ways people go out is get dumped. And anyway, this guy wasn't ready, and he got dumped, and uh, which is basically a slam, you know, head on the ground. And he was out, and he got all lumped up, and when he was unconscious, and it was a bad scene. But yeah, joking, talking trash, uh, all kind, of, just basically talking to people about it. Not good. Wait. I don't think anybody would want to spend their, uh, what, is it commissary money? Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, their commissary money on magic cards with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you play Magic the Gathering? Oh, no, I'm going to get my ass beat now, aren't I? <laughs> 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 me, me either. <laughs> Bunch of nerds. I think there's a lot of, yeah, I think there's a lot of like poker. Whatever you like. Yeah. They play all the games. But, this guy in particular was a gambler. And uh, like you said, there's poker, but he, he played other games, Pinochle and Rummy and Gin Rummy. Probably and Dice. Yes, Dice was one. And then there was some game. I don't know my card games that well. Like I don't even know how to play. Uh... Go fish. <laughs> Is there one? Fish. I'm going to admit, I don't know. Is there a game called Mackerel? Did I make that up? I'm not sure. You keep a twos in your socks. <laughs> oh. You keep a twos in your socks. They... Take your socks off. <laughs> they... Get twos in your socks. 